lives are very impressionable. When they see their mentors, talents, teachers, array political leaders, bragging with pride about petty dishonesty, whatever they are, it makes a difference in a child's life. What happens? They become disappointed. They lose respect for their mentors. But constant exposure to those types of behavior would breed acceptance in them. Today, here are two very simple examples, like the philosophical moments, that send the message home. First, a school teacher asked a little boy what his father did for a living. And the boy replied, I'm not sure, but I guess he makes pens, pencils, light bulbs, toilet paper, because that is what he brings home in his bag every single day in his lunchbox. Get the message? And there's another example where a young couple used to leave their daughter at a daycare center every day before going to work. And as they parted company, the parents and child kissed each other, kissed the child's hands, and then put the kisses in their pockets. And all during the day when the little girl got lonely at school, she would take out a little kiss that she also put in her pocket and she would plant that kiss on her cheek. This little routine made both parents and that child feel together even though they were physically apart. What a wonderful thought, my friends. Today I ask, what role model are you? What investment are you making in your children's life? But more importantly, if they were to be asked, what do my parents do for a living? What would they respond? 